In this video, I build a jet propelled go kart using this jet engine and this tiny go kart. This video was sponsored by Surfshark. Now it's about time that I got a world record on this channel, but I don't think my world's fastest rocket powered toaster or how far I can fire a rubber chicken would really count. And so after much deliberation, I decided to build the world's fastest jet propelled go-kart. And since my last go-kart attempt at the soapbox race didn't end too well, this was going to be a real challenge. Here we have a 2015 Haas Cadet go-kart, which I purchased second-hand off eBay. The first thing I need to do is to strip all the old parts off the chassis, build an engine mount and weld it into the chassis for the jet engine, give it a coat of paint and some fresh wheels. Oh my goodness. The first Guinness World Record in a jet propelled go-kart was set by Tom Bagnall back in 2017 in the UK. He set a speed of 112.29 miles per hour. The record was then broken in the October of 2021 by Skylar January in the USA and he then set a new top speed of 114.59 miles per hour. Again he used a shifter cart chassis but this time with two commercially available jet engines. The engines used in both of these record attempts had approximately 90 kilograms of thrust. So the objective is quite simple, to make a go-kart with more power and hopefully it'll go a little bit faster. But as you can see from this recent record attempt, these things are quite dangerous. So for my first test, I'll be using just one jet engine with approximately 40 kilograms of power with the hope of achieving 60 miles an hour. The next step is to install the engine, the fuel tank and the throttle cable. As you can see, the engine is positioned above the seat. This makes a line of thrust above the cart. So this is an advantage that a jet propelled go-kart might have over a conventional wheel driven cart, because as the engine pushes the cart forward, it also creates a line of torque which pivots through the back axle and pushes the front of the cart down, giving us effectively downforce for free. So that extra bit of downforce is really going to help with the stability and the steering and the brakes when the cart is going at high speed. There is one more thing I need to do, I need new brakes. The brakes on this go-kart were designed for somebody half my weight and for a go-kart that was only going to be travelling about half the speed. So I definitely need to do new brakes. To connect this caliper to the chassis, I made a cardboard template and then a bracket out of 3mm steel. Thank you. 
Now, as you can see here, the steel was just too flexible. So I went on to make another bracket out of a much thicker aluminium. Much better. I feel much safer now with decent brakes. You know what else is much safer? Surfshark. When you surf the net, people can see what you're doing. Surfshark VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one, allowing you to take your home entertainment on holiday and watch movies and TV that aren't available in your country. Surfshark is lightning fast, covers all of your devices and has industry leading protection. All you have to do is click connect. Surfshark can literally make your dreams come true. I mean, they help me build a jet-powered go-kart. It's pretty cool, right? Click the link in the description and enter code MAJORHAVOC for three extra months for three. During the build, I got invited to show the jet cart off at Makers Central. Literally, thousands of people crammed into the NEC in Birmingham, which is in the UK, to see makers and builders, inventors, YouTubers and the like from all over the world. This is actually where I got to meet James from Project Air. He came to see our stand. We played a little bit of robot football. James is building a jet powered radio control car. He's actually looking to get a world speed record in that category. So we thought we may as well hire a track and hang out and do some speed tests. In the next video, we hire a racetrack. James takes on the jet car. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and we had an engine fire. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. If you want to support the channel and support the jet car world record, you can always buy one of these t-shirts that are available on majorhavocstore.com. Click the link in the description for the Surfshark discount and I'll see you in the next video.